Sarah Hahn and the Cardinals looking to defend their home turf this past weekend as the Thunder from Trine University come into Benedetti Whirly Stadium for a Midwest Women's Lacrosse Conference matchup. Cardinals looking to avenge last year's one goal loss to the Thunder, coming in with a 3-7 overall record, 1-1 one one in conference play. North Central up 2-1 in the early going. Rachel Hoop would take care of this one herself all the way around the goal. She sees a weak spot in the D and makes the Thunder pay. The Cardinals' leading scorer on the year, Danielle Fiala, would get in on the fun, erupting for two unassisted goals in less than two minutes. And the Cardinals jump out to a 6-1 lead with just under 11 minutes gone by. The Cardinal defense wouldn't make it easy for trying to claw back. Jamie Legner causes the Thunder turnover. The Cardinals force 10 first-half turnovers and 15 in the game. Sarah Hahn was there to clean up anything that got past the defense as she had eight saves defending her net. Cardinal offense stays in attack mode. Caroline Gully on the free position shot bounces one of her three goals past Grace Garrett. Then with 30 seconds remaining, Fiala finds Allison Muser in front of the net for her eighth goal of the season, and the Cardinals head into halftime leading comfortably 10-1. After Coley tallied another goal, Jacqueline Morgan controls the ball on the faceoff. She moves it up to Fiala, who surveys the D, then centers it to Gully. She finds a cutting Adelaide Deckmeyer, and in 12 seconds, the Cardinals go from faceoff to celebrating their 12th goal on the day. And even the defense finding the back of the net in this one, as Shannon Prince scores her first goal of the season, and the Cardinals roll over the Thunder 14-7. You know what, we were playing as a team, we got a ton of assists, which is awesome, like assists are great. Those, those plays are so fun. And we were just playing really well as a team together. For this game, we kind of really wanted to focus on our mental composure of this game and then working as a team. And I think that was shown through our passing and then just staying composed when you know there's a rough check or anything like that. We really worked hard on working together. The last couple of games, we have had some trouble um, mentally, like trying to stay in the game mentally, and um, I think today that was one of the main focuses, mentally staying in it. It's a really physical team. We knew their strongest players, we had their numbers, and we decided to make sure those girls stayed away from the ball and try to, if they did get the ball, crash on them hard and get back. So it was just more of a help each other out and take out their best players. The Cardinals followed the win over the Thunder with a 17-6 victory over the College of Mount St. Joseph, moving to 3-1 in the conference and one step closer to its second straight bid to the MWLC tournament at the end of the season. The Cardinals have some time to rest before returning to action against the Griffins of Fontbonne University this Saturday. Game time set for 6 p.m.